Hey guys, Bill Nichols here. So I wanted to start this video off really quick with an intro. While I was at Interdrone 2016, I met with Alan Perlman. He's the creator of DronePilotGroundSchool.com. I previously showed you a video about them, but while we were at Interdrone, we talked. He, uh, you know, the first week after the FAA Part 107 exam came out, he already had 317 students that had passed. He'd got a lot of feedback. He's doing continuous updates. As of that Monday after, or Tuesday after the test was released, he'd already released 40 new practice questions. So there's a lot on sky charts, or on sectional charts. Um, he has a reference in this video of you to go check out. So I just want to let you know that Alan extended to Bill Nichols TV viewers a $50 discount. The link is below. So go there. If you're interested in passing your part 107, it's a really great investment. I'm enrolled in the course at $299. You can get enrolled at that minus $50, so 249 It's down below. If you go there and there's a place for a coupon code and you don't see the discount after you hit checkout, Put in BNTV50, you'll get $50 off. $50 off DronePilotGroundSchool.com, great value. I met Alan, he's a great guy, and um, he's really put in a lot of effort into DronePilotGroundSchool.com. So go check him out, listen to the interview, lots of information, and you keep watching, I'll keep making videos. Talk to you soon. Hi guys, Bill Nichols here, Bill Nichols TV. I've got Alan Perlman, creator of Drone Pilot Ground School and UAV Coach. Um, we actually just recorded this, and it's Friday, and I'm dumb, and I didn't turn on the recorder, so we're redoing it. But um, Alan, how are things going? How was your week? What were some of the highlights? I mean, the highlights are meeting guys like you, and I'm, I'm here for the people mostly, and, and just to get a sense of what's happening in the industry like everybody else. Um, I sat in on some great sessions, um, learned about precision agriculture this morning, learned about drone journalism this morning, got to meet a lot of our students, which right. is, is really great. So I'm, I'm good, but my eyes are a little glazed over at this point. I think I'm ready for some sleep. <laughs> so, so far, how many people going through Drone Pilot Ground School that have told you that they've passed? 316 or 317. That's amazing. And we've, the, the test has been live for a couple of weeks. I'm really, really happy with, with our training program and our students are finding success. And we're just doing our best to stay up to date with the regulations and adding in new practice questions and adding more value to the course. I think over time, it's not just going to be test prep, right? We're trying to partner with some, some of the companies here and add in content in the course to help people navigate. You know, what happens after you get your certification? Right. That's great. But what's next? Right. right. Yeah, so you've that's got a, where we're thinking. Yeah, you've got a great audience of people now. You've obviously put out high quality content. I'm enrolled. I know some people from some of my viewers have enrolled. So what is do you have any ideas on what your next steps are, what you want to do? I want to keep supporting the students right now. We have a lot of students still going through it and I'm I'm doing one on one support. So I was on the phone for two hours this morning with students talking about latitude and longitude and still still doing some one on one teaching because I want to make sure that our, our students find value in the course. But I think longer term it's really about um, keeping that relationship alive, right? We've done really, uh, we've tried really hard to build relationships with our students and then once they get certified, I, there's just a lot, there's a lot of noise in this industry and, and it's it's hard sometimes to figure out what your goals are and, and how you want to make an impact and what tools you need to use right. and what companies you might want to be using. Um, so I'm here trying to learn as much as possible to help disseminate that information to our students. So from your experience in the test, from the 317 people that have got back to you, what are the challenge areas that people should really pay particular attention to when going through the course or studying? Airspace, yeah. so sectional charts. Um, if you haven't checked out um, skyvector.com, go to skyvector.com. It's a free tool. Um, you can practice looking at airspace. If you've never seen a sectional chart before, no. it's, uh, it's scary. Yeah. It's real, I mean, it's, 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 it's an amazing map. You have tons and tons of information. And you're, you're, as a drone pilot, you are part of the National Airspace System. Right. So this is stuff that you have to learn. And I think that a lot of students were surprised how many questions there were on sectional charts. Right. So we just added 40 new questions in, into our course. Um, we've got like 315, 320 questions now. Um, a lot of them are on right. the National Airspace System. Well, like we, when we were talking earlier, you were talking about how you know a lot of people think of it as a toy that they're putting up into the air. They're flying over a house or whatever. But they're not really realizing the impact and the responsibility that the FAA has. I was really particularly impressed this week with the FAA had a number of panels. They had a number of classes where they were showing how productive they were, going through the process. And they actually brought in people that were that had gone through process and while they had some good things to say, they also had a lot of recommendations for the FAA and it seemed like they were just ears and eyes wide open. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just, I think that we're gonna continue to see a lot of innovation. I mean, part 107 was a huge hurdle, huge right. step forward in the industry. Um, everybody is so gung-ho about it. I mean, yeah. you can hear you can hear the lawyers talking, you can hear the insurance guys right. talking, like everybody's really excited about part 107 for a number of reasons, but 
we still want to be able to operate at night. We still want to be able to operate beyond visual line of sight. Uh, the technology is going to change. It's going to adapt uh, geofencing, right? right? I can imagine us having this conversation next year, and it's just going to be a whole new world of, of topics and, and issues, right, that come up. So kudos to the FAA for doing a lot of really great right. work, but it's the beginning, right? Right, And I think they recognize that. And I'm just I'm really happy with the technology that they've adopted, bringing a lot of this stuff online. A really good example of that is um, no longer are individual drone pilots going to be contacting airports for permission? Right. Right. We need to fill out an online form, a very centralized, very streamlined process. And I think over time, it's going to go from 90 day approvals, hopefully down to like one week approvals, right. one day approvals. Like I can imagine a world where I've got a phone and I want to operate in class B airspace, right. and I ask the FAA for permission and they say yes. Well, like, you're in New York, right? Yeah. And I'm in Southern California, so I can't imagine individuals, once there's a million drones in New York, calling Kennedy. <laughs> to say, hey, I'm going to fly 4.8 miles Roger. away from you. I want to go to 550 mm -hmm. feet. Is that okay? And they get 10,000 calls in a day. It's just right. not manageable. Right, right, right. So I think um, it's just really exciting to, to think about what's going to happen over the next oh, awesome. few months and years. Yeah. So if you guys don't know, um, Alan has offered $50 off to the Drone Pilot Ground School. There's a link below. Go check it out. $50 off, Drone Pilot Ground School. It's a really great resource. Um, Alan's really personally, I mean, he's doing everything with I'm it, right? It. Yeah, he's the, it. he's the creator. He's been here all week, really passionate. I know talking on the legal front, talking on the FAA front. So great to support somebody that's really supporting the industry. So, anything Thanks. Else? No, it was you really great to meet you in person. All right, yeah. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Cheers. Maybe we'll see you in Tennessee. All right, guys, that was Alan Perlman, Drone Pilot Ground School. Go check it out. There's a number of viewers from here that have already enrolled, enrolled in the course. I wouldn't tell you something that I didn't think was worth it. I'm personally enrolled in the course. It's an awesome course. Showed you some of the weather maps, um, you know, some of the weather systems, stuff that they show. Um, like he said, there's a lot about sectional charts and the airspace. So dig in deep there. Even if you're not using Drone Pilot Ground School, utilize skyvector.com, like Alan said. Go out there. If you're looking to get certified, he's already got 317 people through the program certified that have contacted him. He's constantly updating it. It's probably one of the best resources that you can invest in. So I'm Bill Nichols, Inner Drone 2016. You guys have a great day. You keep watching. I'll keep making videos. Look down below for that $50 off. It's going to go for three weeks total, then it's going to be pulled. So get it, get your certification, and then you're going to be ready to go. So you guys have a great day. You keep watching. I'll keep making videos.